Hello, and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 6 Web Services Part 1 Video Training Exercise, brought to you by MS Consulting. On the screen is a brief list of assumptions and requirements for this tutorial, as well as the location of a full in depth article. This part of the tutorial focuses on creating and testing the base application and the creation of the base web services. Due to the nature of web services, the information presented here was accurate as of the time this tutorial was made, but some changes may have been made since then. To get started, we're going to go and we're going to log into Apex. And we're going to go to our application builder. I'm going to create an application. I'm going to click create. I'm going to give it a name of web services. All the other defaults there are fine. We're going to add a blank page to this and we're going to give it a page name. And we're going to name it web services. And we'll add our page. And we'll click next. One level of tabs. We do not need to copy any shared components. Uh, base attributes here are all fine as the defaults are and the user interface is going to be theme too. It'll ask us to confirm our choices on the next page and we can go ahead and create. The next section I'm going to cover is purely optional. It is only required if you have a proxy server that you must go through for internet access. If you have to set your proxy information you're going to go to shared components And at the top under application, you're going to click the definition link. And up here in the very first area is where you can set your proxy server information if you if one is required for your location. And that we're going to back back out to the application screen and start ourselves. We're going to create a web service. So we're going to go under Shared Components. And then under Logic, we're going to go to Web Service References. And we're going to click Create. We are not going to search the UDDI registry. Information on that is available in the full article. We're going to give it our WSDL location, which all of this pasted text is available on the, the full article. We don't need a username and password in this case. Here it gives us the web service name we'll be using, as well as the uh, SOAP URL information. And this is all fine, so we're going to click Create Reference. Then we're going to click Create Form and Report on Web Service. It will ask us to select our Web Service Reference. So we'll click Movie Information. When it updates, we'll then click Operation and we'll choose Get Theater and Movies. We'll click Next. Under Page Region and Attributes, we're going to change the Report Region title from Results to Theater Information. And we'll click Next. Input items is all OK. We're just going to change the item label on zip code. Like so, and click Next. And then this will ask us some information on the web service results. We just have to select Theater for the result tree. And we need to select all of the result parameters, so we'll click the top left checkbox. That will select everything. 
and we'll click finish. And now we'll run the page to test it. It'll ask us to log in. So we'll log in and then we just need to feed it a zip code and a radius to look in. Click submit. And here's all the movies it found within five miles of that zip code point. Now this was creating a reference using the WSDL information. Next we're going to create a web reference completely in a manual fashion. So to start that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our application page and we're going to click shared components again. And we're going to go to web service references under logic again. We're going to click create and in this case we are not going to search the directory. On this screen on the right hand side we're going to click the task that says create web service manually. So we're going to give this a name of movie info. We're going to give it a URL and we're going to give it an action and then we have to manually type in the SOAP envelope information in this case I'm just going to paste it in the full information is available in the full article and then we're going to give it a name of a collection to store its results in in this case movie results click create and it's created. Now we need to test it. Up at the top here where it says web service reference we need to drop the view down to details like I just did and then next to the movie info name is a test button. We're going to click the test button and this will give us a screen that will allow us to test what we just made. What we need to do though is in the SOAP envelope we need to change the zip and radius to a fixed value because what this is going to do is it's going to send this test request to the web service provider and see if we get a correct response back. So we'll change the zip and the radius and then we'll click test. And then down beneath this SOAP envelope is the results. There's information in here that we do need. I go into more detail into what it is in the full article. But once we're done with this, we now know that this reference works, so we can go back to our application page and get ready for the next part of the tutorial.